everyone, Nick Walsh here from LiveX, and today we got another unboxing for you. We're gonna be opening up the Blackmagic Web Presenter HD. Now, you might be familiar with one of their earlier web presenters. Um, that let you take a 720p signal of SDI or HDMI and basically turn it into a webcam. The new version is super great because now you could put up to 12G of signal on this guy and not only can you still use it over USB as a webcam but you can also stream it directly to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, what have you. Um, they also did a lot of great software updates to the A10 Mini and they put that on the Blackmagic web presenter including the ability to send it to an A10 streaming bridge which is really cool if you have an internal uh, setup that you're trying to do like for example get a program feed to a monitor over a network. So we're really really excited to have this um, especially uh, to use with Rivet, uh, which is our SRT um, software for remote contribution. So let's take a look inside. Um, so first notice here, packaging, classic black magic, um, still looking good design as always. So now, now we'll take bets on if there's an IEC inside. I'm gonna bet that there's not, because uh, that, that is always the case with black magic products. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get rid of that box. You get this welcome map here. Um, we'll show you how to get the software. That's how you'll see a lot of the features that this comes with for remote video monitoring. Um, so I'll throw that on the ground here for now. Got your black magic sticker. I probably have 75 million of these by now. Um, you, it comes with an SD card, um, so you can install the software on the on your computer with that, or you could just download it from blackmagicdesign.com slash support. Um, and you also get a free download of DaVinci Resolve, so make sure you get one of those. Probably have seven million of those as well. So let's take out the product here. Put that over the side. Get rid of this plastic. And cool, let's take a look at this guy. So on the front panel here, looks like a lot of their other Terranex Mini AV form factor um, products. Uh, so you got all your buttons up here. This has a little bit more specifics towards streaming. Um, so you can do a lot of things from the front panel. Um, this panel is actually custom for the Blackmagic pr um, web presenter, but if you have other Blackmagic products, you could buy a smart panel uh, that works universally with uh, like the converters and stuff like that. Um, but it's really great. You get to see video preview. It'll tell you if you're on air or off air. Um, so it'll be really great that you could do here, but you probably won't be able to do everything off the front panel. So instead you'll use what's inside this front guy. I'll show you in the top camera here. Um, this USB-C slot, it's probably gonna be a little hard to see inside of that because uh, it's probably just a black hole right now, but um, inside there's a USB-C port um, and that's where you'll probably be able to do any software updates or recording or stuff like that. So now let's take a look at the back so we can look at IO. So over here, oh, it's pretty cool. It has redundant power supplies. So if you're using this as an encoder to Facebook or YouTube or something, that'll be really, really helpful. Uh, obviously, it didn't come in the box, so you'll have to buy that. But um, you'll get either a 12 volt on a four pin XLR or a traditional IEC port here. Um, so that's really, really great to have on two different power sources in case you're worried about blowing a circuit or something like that. You'll have the redundancy on this guy. Um, so you also have Ethernet over here. Um, I'm sure there's a you could use any Cat6, Cat5 cable for that. Um, it does let you stream up to 1080p 60, so you just need to make sure that you have a good enough internet speed to do that. Um, I know for YouTube, typically we'll send six to eight meg if we're doing 1080p 60, um, so make sure that you have probably double that on your internet speed uh, if you're trying to do a live stream out of your facility. Um, over here is a web, uh, webcam out over USB-C. So the way this works is it'll trick your computer into thinking it's a webcam, even though you're just plugging in SDI or HDMI. The older models only went up to 720p, but this will actually take in 2160p, but you could only stream 1080, um, which is fine, because like you can stream to 4K to YouTube, but a lot of people still don't have the internet to support 4K, so um, not a bad trade up for now. Um, so over here is the actual I.O. So this lets you put in an SDI signal. You could also plug in um, an SDI loop out to this, so that's if you want a monitor to see exactly what the camera feed 
going into it to assure that you're sending the right signal. Um, and then it also has this monitor out. Um, so not entirely sure, but um, this SDI or HDMI will probably have the overlays and give you some data for what you're streaming and what signal this is receiving. Um, so that's really, really helpful if you want to double check the closed captioning or if that the audio levels look good. You can actually see that in a monitor that you could put in another multi view or something to see that you're streaming out the right stuff. Um, so yeah, so now let's take a look on the other side here. So we got ventilation over here um, on both sides. Um, so what this can do as well is there's a, a shelf that you could buy from Blackmagic that lets you put three of these guys all in one RU. Um, so these vents, will hopefully they can push all push everything through uh, for airflow. Um, but um, this will uh, this will work totally fine on its own, even if you don't have the shelf, as long as it's secure in a rack. Um, and then last but not least are these feet. So if you're um, not using this in a rack or you just want some general slideies, uh, make sure you're not sliding around here. Um, you could put these rubber feet on the bottom so that way you could secure it a little bit more. So there you have it, the Blackmagic Web Presenter HD. So if you want to check out more unboxing videos, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. And make sure you come back and check out the rest of our unboxings. Have a good one.